Sounds like he's stuck down below. Oh, here you are. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> okay, I'm having a good time. Hope you guys are having a good time, too. I'm having a good time. I'm not even drunk, either. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. All right, so um, in this episode, we are going to uh, do another quest. We haven't done any questing for a while, and I'd like to get back into that. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the... I mean, this was close by, but I'll probably do that one off camera because I've already done it once or twice. Uh, probably the house, Old Victorian, or the church. I haven't decided which one. They're both close to each other. Maybe even both of them, if we if we can get through them really quick. I'm not sure. Uh, for Tier 4 quests, though, usually it's pretty hard to get, do two Tier 4s in one episode without it getting too long. But uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring you uh, in first and kind of show you the start of my horde base design here. Uh, so as you can see, I've... Uh, dug up one block of earth and uh, laid some more blocks down kind of around the perimeter to flatten out the ground a little bit. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to fill in this area um, from here over to the edge with concrete blocks. And then this is going to be a large pit that's essentially going to go all the way down to bedrock. And so I've got a lot of digging ahead of me, of course. And then uh, the hole itself is going to be uh, four blocks uh, or a two by two um, hole. And then th this area here will of course be lined with concrete once we get it all done. So I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna show you all the digging and stuff on camera, of course, but I just wanted to kind of show you the start of this. And then what I'll do is I'll, you know, I'll give you periodic updates uh, as the horde base progresses. My goal is to have this ready to go by um, horde 56, um, if everything goes well. So I'm planning on doing 40, nine again in uh, our original base which is back in the other town uh, one last time and then hopefully you know we'll have this one ready by the time order 56 rolls around i think the base that we're using now could probably be hold up to 56 too if i reinforced it with steel but i i want to i want to do this base because this base is going to get us some serious xp the, on, the only thing i don't know is i haven't tested this in 19.2 the last time i used this base design was in the Alpha 18, so I'm not sure how well it's going to work. I haven't even tested it like it in creative mode or not. Um, so we're just going to build it and see what happens. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and work on this for a while, um, you know, start digging. But at some point, I'll bring you back uh, once I kind of get tired of digging, and uh, we will go ahead and do one of those quests. So I'll probably just meet you at the quest location. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. All right, guys, I'm back with an update, and uh, so I've, I've gotten down uh, this far. We are at elevation 25 meters, um, and I ran into this huge uh, coal pocket uh, with a little bit of nitrate and iron as well. And so usually, you know, the last time I did dug a big hole like this, when I run into these deposits, I go ahead and mine them out. Uh, before, when I did that, I then filled it all in with dirt, but I don't know if I'm going to do that this time. Um, I'm just, I'm not sure exactly how stable, uh, this will be, but because there's so much, um, you know, ground or stone or whatever uh, up above, it might, you know, stay stable even if I keep digging it from here. Now, <clears throat> this deposit probably goes all the way up to the surface. Well, it might, it might not, I don't know, but I'm not going to mine up from here. Uh, I'll only start mining down from here. So we've got, uh, quite a bit of resources here. Almost uh, four full stacks of coal, uh, all of this stone, and I'm not, you know, I haven't even been using rock busters or anything because I was just down here, you know, working on the tunnel. So let's see, we also have uh, 919 nitrate and a stack and then a little bit more of iron. So pretty good uh, resources for, uh, you know, what we're doing here. But anyway, I'm go ahead, and, uh, I'm done for now with uh, the digging and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to nerd pull up and I'll probably put some wood bars down over the entrance and a hatch until you know while we're continuing to build it so that way if we get uh, 
a wandering horde or something. I want to be careful that I don't get too high and bang my head or go to fall off. So let's just create a temporary floor here at this height. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's a nice, nice little hall there. And uh, we'll keep working on this as I get time. And I'll, I'm going to bring some rebar down here and fill all this in too at some point. Uh, but what I'd like to do is... So we got food, we got water, and uh, we have space. So we might as well just go ahead and head over to the quest from here. I'm going to have to go get some more gasoline too because I'm like really tearing through the gas now that I've got the auger. Okay, have I done this place? I This place does not look familiar to me, you guys. It does not look familiar to me. Hmm. And I have no idea where the fat loots are. Yeah, I don't think I've done this place. Once we get inside, I might recognize it, but I don't think we've done this place. And so because of that fact, um, I don't think I'm going to double loot it because I don't even know where the end loot is. So we're just going to go. We're just going to go. So this is a clear. Well, look at that. Interesting. Oh, we're going to try something different this time. We're going to use our sledge. Okay, let's put that there. And let's also... Uh, do we want to light them up or do we want to burn them up? The answer is yes to all of the above. So let's do this. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. That is great. I was watching a, a, a YouTuber friend of mine. His name's Diesel, D-E-Z-I-L. And he was using this in the shotgun and side factory, and it was like working out really well for him. And I'm going, man, I gotta try that. It's a little better than putting those, you know, putting the frames down and having to upgrade them and all that crap. All right, who do we got in here? Nobody in there. Plus, it's a lot easier to pick up and put down and stuff, too, right? Can we get anybody's attention? Okay, I guess there's probably nobody in that room. Anything else in here that we should be checking? Little medical pile. Let's close that door in case something tries to come around behind us. Got the attention of somebody. Okay, let's put this right here. See, the thing too is they can't, it, it also serves the purpose of blocking the door because I don't, you know, they can't run through it. Well, like we can, which is little hacks, but at least it's hacks on my in my favor and not in the Zombo's favor, right? As long as it's in my favor, I'm okay with it. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's it for in here. Anybody in here? They're all up above. guy yeah I have not been in this POI before this is brand new to me which is cool it's always nice to do something new you know 
Got a Yodi out there. The cool thing about this is I can operate it too. Yeah, that door's locked. A shoddy messiah crate there. There's something up there. Yeah, I should have been using this thing all along, man. <laughs> Hola. Oh, he got through it. Oh, huh, okay. Maybe it's because there were so many of them that they were able to glitch through or something. I get the XP for this thing's kills too, which is even better. Let's close that door. So this is like the boiler room. The boiler room in the basement. Anybody in here? I think most of that's going on up above us. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so that's all about drop from up above. place before I, it kind of does look a little bit vaguely familiar to me so this must be like a secret area back here it's probably where that shoddy messiah crate is come here dude We go off this friggin' head. Wait, this is the way we came. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the way we came. Okay. How do we get to that Shaka Messiah crate then that we saw? it in there no that's just that door okay let's go back there for a minute let's see we saw it where did we see that thing at we looked into a hole somewhere and we saw a shoddy messiah crate sitting in there I don't remember where that was. Here. Okay, so how do we get into there? Through here, maybe? Okay, yep, that's it. And we got an armor plate mod, nice. Those are always good to have. I don't want to step on that and get caught on fire. All right, let's head on upstairs.
purse action there. I might have done this. I just can't remember for sure. Where'd that come from? So this must be like the garage or something. He did? He did. He not dead. He is now. That leads outside. I wonder if a zombie from the outside broke that door down. That's probably what happened. That's my guess. All right, so we got some bookshelves in here. Let's see what we got. Paper. That's coyote. Nothing behind there. Hungry, are we? Well, look what we have to take care of that. A little sham chowder action, baby. Let's throw back um, a mineral water, too, while we're at it, because why not, right? Okay, let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I'm not keeping 17 jars and cans. Just not doing it. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. We will keep everything else. Okay, let's get this uh, radiator harvested. Ooh. Do 10% more damage to safes. Okay. We don't really need to damage safes, but it's nice that we have it anyway. Okay, so do we look at these guys here? Not, not taking them. Okay, what about over here? What? I guess those aren't normal things, but Quest wants us to go this way anyway. What about this? Okay. Potato seats. Don't need them anymore. Yeah, that's just normal painted. Wait, is it? Oh yeah, I guess that's supposed to be like shutters over the window or something, right? Let's get this guy out. You know, maybe I have been in this POI before. Maybe I have. <laughs> I love it. Oh, she's still not dead. She's not dead yet. Get her, get her sludge turret. She was, she was feral. That's why it took a little while to kill her. Yeah, you know, my, I think I have been in this POI before. I'm starting to recognize it now, but I've only done it once before. So that's probably why I wasn't real familiar with it. Oh no! Damn! I think it's time for this guy. 
These are some fairly high level Zikaruskis here. Soldier Zombos, Feral. Feral, um, Steve Zombies, and Feral. What the hell is her name? Marlene Zombie. <laughs> Got a little bit of an ambush there. Nah. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Chuck a doodle that. You know, we really actually don't need that anymore either, so we're going to chuck a doodle it. Let's take this off. And scrap this, and scrap this, and scrap this. Okay, nothing else in there. Nothing in there? Nope, guess not. Cat food. All right, let's see if there's somebody in this closet here. Can't really tell from that angle, huh? Nobody. That's a toaster. Food pile. Most of these cupboards are not lootable. We don't need either one of those things. We will take those. And we got a purse. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. Did we look here? This is a sizable place. <clears throat> Just one Zombaruski. Do that. Nothing in here, huh? Okay. Check this. Not a, not a thing. Ooh, look at that. There's that coyote down there too. All those buzzards. Any more? All right, continuing on. Big mama. Feral big mama. 1,320 points. Okay, let's close that. Hmm. 
We got some trash up here. Got some wood and nothing up there. Okay, is there something over here? Oh, that's gonna take, excuse me, take a long time to do. Ooh, look at that. Craft flaming arrows and crossbow bolts. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. We can use that when we do our Agility respec. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? I don't need that. Okay, nothing else in here. Might as well scrap that and get the wood, right? Okay, I feel an ambush coming on here. Ah! Um, that's right, I have... <laughs> I have definitely done this place before. I remember that happening the last time. Okay. It's a good thing I didn't fall on the damn spikes, huh? Little Tomb Raider action there. Yep, I, I distinctly remember this happening the last time I did this place. Uh, but now, you know, <clears throat> now I'll, I'll know for next... Well, I, I'll probably know for next time. Oh, okay. Knowing me, I'll probably forget again. What do we got? We already know that. Uh, we know both of those. Okay. This is just a random Zombo closet. go over that way there's a thing there that we missed or no we haven't been haven't been been on this floor yet okay here we go a little bit of fun with the sledgehammers turret <laughs> all right we'll use that sledgehammer i don't know why i think that's so funny it's just funny I know, I'm easily amused. What can I say? Ah! Uh, here. Get over here. Get the big gun out. Let's do this. <laughs> Off of his head. Okay, why, why isn't the other football player guy coming through? There you go, buddy. A little something for you. I didn't kill him, though. Hey, 
Here he comes. <laughs> Off of his head. All right, there's something in here. It's a duffel bag. Okay, and something in here, maybe. Nope, nothing in there. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, shit. Skater Punk seems to like really be able to sneak through uh, the thing there. I've noticed. Yeah, they're all kind of just like scattered all over the place now, aren't they? Well, when that happens, what you want to do is harvest a radiator because that's what you do when zombies are scattered all over the place and you don't know where the hell they're going to come from. Some money off of that stuff. Let's check this bookshelf. Okay. You guys back up here yet? Sounds like he's stuck down below. Oh, here you are. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> here, let's give you a little something. Something, something to think about here. Where is it at? Yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> the turret's like <coughs> looking up at him like he wasn't quite sure what to do. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are having a good time, too. I'm having a good time. I'm not even drunk, either. Oh, shit. That's funny. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs> okay, so I think we pretty much aggroed all the Zika Ruskies. At least on this floor. We're going to have another batch up in the attic where the fat loots are. This is quite the place, though, man. Quite the place. Anything in up here? Nope. We already looked in there, right? Yeah. Comes out on the porch here. That goes up to the attic. Almost done. Okay, so, yeah, we came through over that way, right? Yeah. Is there a Zed right up there? Not sure. Okay, let's do this. Let's get you there. I'm going to put you there. Gonna be a bunch of Zikaroos up there too. Okay, come get me, Zombos. 
Yeah, Skater Punk, he, he seems to be able to get right right through the turret. I wonder if Big Mama can. Let's just see. <laughs> just bumps it right in the chest. <laughs> come on, Big Mama, you can do it. Get through there and come over here and bite me. <laughs> there she goes. She's just, she's got to kind of get past this part of it because apparently this part they can walk through. I can walk through the whole thing though. <laughs> okay, we're not done yet. We are not done yet. Trying to see if there's any hidden secrets behind here. Might be a zombo in there. Ah. Oh shit. Yeah, these guys are big, bad, mean guys. Oh shit, let's get out of here. Back down here. Quick, 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 close the door. Okay. <laughs> Where'd the biker go? Oh, he fell down here. Okay, he's dead now. Come on, Hawaii Five O's. <laughs> I love it. You guys, why in the hell haven't you told me to use this before now? Come on, this thing's been here ever since Alpha 19 came out, and I haven't hardly even considered it. Well, we have used it for the buzzards on Horde Night, but. Oh, this is too much fun. Too much fun. This guy's a tough mofo. Man, he's tough. So he came around through here. Okay. Ammo pile. Okay. Uh, return to Trader. We have killed all the Zeeks. And boy, that was a lot of nastiness, wasn't it? Lots of nastiness. There's <clears throat> the Fat Loot's room. We got a chest up here. Got some nines in it. Just checking all the areas here before we go do the Fat Loot's. Quite the attic up here. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. Let's um, bust stuff open first. And we also want to put these on. Let's see what we got. Oh, very useful. I'll take that dart trap schematic. I was thinking about actually using those for the new horde base. Working stiffs. <laughs> Look at that. We found an auger. It's an orange one, but hey, if we had not have found the schematic and made a blue one, I would be jumping for joy right now. So still, nice find. Definitely a nice find. All right. We'll take that stuff. Okay. I've been finding a lot of nail guns lately. Don't really care about that. Okay. Let's look at the fat loots. Okay. Well, we'll make some money off of that stuff for sure. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. I'm going to um, go downstairs, unload, and then come back up and get the rest of this stuff. That's, yeah, I don't care if that stuff disappears. It doesn't matter. Uh, but we're going to end the episode here. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.